All right, we're going to be graphing. Oops. Okay, let's try this again. Since I don't even know what I must have pressed something. Sorry. So since it's cosine, we focus on the one that makes the letter C. So I click that. That's the parent function. So I'm done. Again, I go here, parent function, but this time there's a reflection, which means you're flipping it. So when I'm flipping it, when I'm stretching it, I'm always going to use the top. So since the top is at 1, oh, notice when I clicked it, it went dashed, solid. So solid, it won't move around, but dashed, it moves around. So let's say, oh no, I'm all messed up, I don't even know where I am anymore. Press this, and you can just start it over again. So that's the parent function. The top is at 1, the bottom is at negative 1, so now I do the opposite. Once I make it solid, then I press enter, okay? So now let's go to the next one. Four high, because that's the amplitude. And then I have to make it solid. So make sure you're doing the clicking. Uh-oh, see, so I messed up, oh no. All you gotta do is start over. So four high, solid. Now when we're dealing with translation, that's when we use the middle. So that makes a slide. So if you notice, I'm sliding all over the place, okay? So this is where I was. What I'm gonna do is I'm at zero, if you look over there, okay, I'm going to go up to one. Make it solid, press enter, and you're done, okay? So, translation, so I'm going to go four high on the amplitude, it's top guy. Do the translation, I go down one with the middle guy. Make it solid, boom, press enter, okay? Three cosine, so I go three high, make it solid, down one, make it solid, press enter. Okay, so I'm going to go for high. And honestly, when you see the negative inside, just ignore it, because it just really means that you're reflecting over the y-axis. And when you reflect over the y-axis, it's the same thing on the left and the same thing on the right. So now I go down one, and I press enter. So this is like the parent function, because when I flip it, it's the same thing. I liked that one. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to graph this one. I'm the kind of person that likes to deal with the stretch and compression first. So if it's x over 2, that means it's twice the distance. So what that really means is instead of the center guy being at 90, he's now at 180. So I'm going to move this over. It's going to seem weird. But the problem is all I did was double it, but I didn't make it wider. So I compensate for that by taking this back to where it started. So let me say that again. So here I was. I know that it's at um, x over 2 means it's twice as big. So instead of it being at 90, it's at 180. But I have to compensate by putting that back at 1. And that dealt with my um, stretch. Okay. Now I'm going to go add 1. Up translation, which means I slide up 1, make it solid, press enter, and I'm good. Okay, let's do the same thing. So it gave me the same problem, but this time I'm going to go 4 high. So I'm still 4 high. I'll deal with the reflection last. 90 really means it will, it's at 180. Compensate by going back to where you were. And then I'm going to flip it. So it was at 4, negative 4. So when I flip it, I'm going to be aware of that. Remember, careful of the moving. Boom. Make it solid. Press Enter. Okay, let's do another one. There's a lot of 2s. So this 2 means too high. Okay. This means it's half the distance. So instead of being at 90, it's at 45. And 45 is right there in the center. So I'm going to go 45. But remember, I have to compensate. So I have to put it back to where it was. So now it looks skinnier. And then I'll do my slide. I'm at 0, so I'm going to go up to 2. Make sure you stay in the center. Make it solid. Boom. Press Enter. Okay? Let's do another one. Too high. This means it's twice the distance. So 90 goes to 180. Compensate by going back, um, and then slide up one. I'm hoping they give me more difficult ones, so let's see. All right, this will keep me busy for sure. All right, got a lot going on here. Five high, amplitude. Now, since it's four, it means I'm going a fourth of the distance. If you notice, it's one, two, three, four. So that means this is really a fourth of the distance but I have to compensate by going back. This is really going to be a hard one, especially since I probably need glasses. Okay, and then, uh-oh, see, I messed up. Start again. So careful with your dashed. Okay, five high. Fourth of the way in. Compensate by going back. Make it solid. Now, 
I'm going to deal with my translation down three. Make sure I'm down three. Boom, make it solid. Now I'm going to have to flip it, which is my reflection. My top is at two and my bottom is at negative eight. So I'm going to make sure when I flip it, that's exactly what I do. Bottom is at negative eight, top is two, I'm solid, I press enter. Okay, let's do another one. There we go. This means it's half the distance, so I go halfway, compensate, and then flip or reflect. Okay, all right, this one, it's good to go over that. It's only going to be a half, so if that's at one, this is at a half, and then I flip it. Okay, and let's do another one for a good measure, three high. Half means double the distance, so notice it's in radian mode, but I just double it. Compensate by going back, slide by going up one, and then make sure you flip it. Top is at four, bottom is at negative two, so bottom is at negative two, top is at four. Okay, ooh, this is exactly what I wanted to do, was get to this one. Okay, so the thing I'm going to have to do here is 2 over 3 really means it's 3 over 2, so it's 1 and a half. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go 1 and a half. So I need to go halfway between 90 and 180. And then I need to compensate by going back. And then I go down 4. So the real thing for this one that made it difficult was that when it's two over three, it means three over two. So three over two is one and a half. One and a half. And that should do it.